morning. Welcome to Frugal Fall. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. My name's Lara and thank you for joining me for Slow Cooker Sundays. And today I'm going to make a slow cooker veggie lasagna. So I hope you enjoy. So what I'm doing at the moment is I've started off by I had onions and I had sliced aubergine in the freezer. So what I've decided to do, I defrosted them and they're, they were soggy. So I'm just dry frying those just to get the excess moisture off. And then I'm going to start preparing the veggie lasagna. So I'm going to bring you with me today for the journey. So here's the sliced aubergine. That's it so far of what I've cooked so far and it will continue to cook in the slow cooker and then I'll show you all the ingredients. I'm going to start cooking some ingredients on the hob to prepare the sauce and then I'll show you how I'm going to layer up the lasagna. So here are all the ingredients. So there's some more chopped onion, there's courgette, lasagna sheets. I'm going to dice the courgette and I'm going to slice these peppers. There's basil, olive oil, tinned tomatoes, that's garlic in there. That's the sliced aubergines. I've got eggplant and then I've got mozzarella. There's also some tomato puree here. So let's get cooking.
So I've got the sauce ready, really pleased with that. The aubergines are here at the ready and so are the lasagna sheets. So time to start layering into the slow cooker. So it will be a layer of aubergine, layer of lasagna sheets, layer of sauce, repeat. Let's go. So here we go, that's all the layers. I'm going to do it in the slow cooker on high for two to three hours. So I'll be back and I'll show you how that turns out and we can do a wee taste test. I have made veggie lasagna in the slow cooker before, but usually I would use things like pesto and cheese and well there's going to be a bit of mozzarella in this later, I'll show you that. but. Yeah, this is uh, a lot more veg heavy and a lot less cheesy and a lot less oily. It's a much healthier version. I wanted to try swapping out some ingredients. So I know slow cooker lasagna is really tasty, but it is an experiment as well using these veggies. So let's see how it goes. You ready for this? Ta-da! <laughs> so I cooked it for just a little under two hours, about an hour and 45 minutes on high. Probably because the sauce part and the aubergines were pre-cooked, it sped the process up. So yeah, an hour 45 and I've added some chopped mozzarella on top and just let it all melt for 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna just add some seasoning and serve up some back in a sec. There's still loads and loads left. So I'm going to be freezing some and then there'll be enough for at least one other meal. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, the pasta is nice and soft, that's good. I was wondering if it was a bit, still a bit undercooked, but it's not. It's fine. Hang on a second. Oh, sorry, my arm is so sore today. Uh, two wee seconds, I'm just going to cut it off. Right, bear with me for a second. Yeah, that's 
fine, it's a good texture. That's really good. I think the pasta is fine, but it would be fine even in for a bit longer. Say if it was in for two hours and then 10, ten minutes with the, the mozzarella melting would be totally, that would be perfect if it was that. But it's fine. It's plenty soft enough and it's very, very tasty. So I'm really pleased with that sauce. It's got a really good flavour to it and it's just so nice knowing I can enjoy lasagna without it being really fattening and unhealthy. Like this is a super healthy meal. There are carbs from the lasagna sheets and there's a tiny bit of olive oil when frying up the sauce at the beginning. But there's no, and then apart from the mozzarella, there's no fat apart from that. It's just packed with vitamins, all these beautiful vegetables and the tomato base. Yeah, I'm really happy with it and I highly recommend it as a very delicious slow cooker meal. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and enjoy this tasty lasagna now. See you next time. Take care. Bye.